Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping and checking out this video. Hope you are having a beautiful day. I know I am, even though I'm about to do something really stupid. And uh, you probably catch that over in the food plot video that's gonna come up later. Today, we are going to stop and talk about this fine, oh, where's he at, where's he at? Right there. We're gonna talk about this fine little side piece over here that I'm fixing to use for this food plot. And, and uh, this is a Tartar Industries 36 inch disc, tow behind four wheeler style. And that is gonna be the focus of today's gear review. <laughs> I am fixing to disc up this uh, about a 0.22 acre food plot that I had mulched. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Uh, we'll put a link in the description or something like that, like everybody does, that does, I guess. You can see I had this cleared out of pine saplings. This is probably going to be off or not, but we are going to give her hail. And uh, I'm going to disc up this today, and I picked up this Tartar Industries 36 inch disc tow behind four wheeler style. This thing is, uh, there's not many of the options of the tow behind style on the market, so. This is the rig I'm gonna pull it with. Just wanna talk about some of the specs, but I'll throw it in the description below. I'll kinda of list everything out if you wanna skip this part, but this is a 36 inch offset disc. It's about 70 inches long, about 28 inches high, and it's got 10 slotted disc wheels, and it also has a jack, a center mounted jack with 11 inch wheels that you can prop, you can uh, raise and lower just like a standard, you know, boat trailer jack. And that way you can transport this thing on the fly, get the discs up off the ground and move along, handle your business. It's kind of like those, um, oh, butterfly. Kind of like those other discs that you see that kind of flip over where the discs flip on top. I, I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of those. Uh, Titan makes one like that. This is a little bit of a step up. I picked this one up used. So it's, you know, I want to see how this thing discs. You know, durability, I think it's already kind of Proving that the guy had it for for a good while and I got a really good deal on it. So I'm anxious to see how this thing disc. It's also made of two inch heavy duty square tubing. You also have this uh, tongue mounted sort of a cup, a screw coupling where you can adjust the tongue height. That way it's not pitched up or down. And then once you get to where you're going where where you're going to do your work, you can level it out and then drop it and then make sure you're good to go. You got a nice and level surface and you're getting a clean contact across the disc. So I think this little buddy is, is gonna do pretty good. Now I do have some you know, ground level stumps out here. I'm not gonna go real fast. Um, cause I, you know, I don't wanna get crazy with this thing cause I know they're out there. This was a pine sapling plantation, but uh, we've got a lot of work today, but this is gonna be cover this food plot in a separate video. So when that comes out, be sure to check that out and see how this thing is gonna do here in East Texas. Uh, soil is terrible. I mean, I'm just telling you, it's it's it ain't no good, son. And uh, but we're we're gonna start working on it. That's all we can do. A little bit at a, a little bit at a time. So I'm pulling this thing with the Polaris Sportsman 570. Nothing crazy. I think it'll do the job. And one thing about this particular model is it kind of has this flat space on the back, and you can mount a board, which I did a really old board. You can put some U-bolts on it. And you can add some weight. You can throw yourself a, a bag of sacrete on there. I'll probably throw some of my fertilizer on there if I, if I can't really get down to the depth that I need. Well, also, just so you know, I'm going to start this thing with no weight. It weighs about 300 pounds by itself, so it's pretty stout. But uh, I'm going to start this with no weight on the back, see how it performs, and then maybe some add, we'll add weight and see if it makes a difference. And, uh, we we'll get going. I got a lot of work to do, so I'm not sure how often I'm going to stop and check in and we'll get real fancy with all my all my business here. But uh, we just got to get moving. That's the main thing. So let's get it.
All right, so after a few passes, this is kind of what it does in a straight line. It pulls it up just a little bit, you know, and I should say that this ground is, it's actually just rained yesterday. It's really not that bad. But uh, there is a layer of mulch on top that I'm trying to clear out. That's kind of why I'm doing this, but that's kind of what it does. It's just kind of tickling the surface a little bit. Of course, it does do a lot better once I start cutting sharp corners. You know, it really tries to start digging in there. You can probably see on the video whenever I'm turning how it kind of cuts in. But uh, I think I can't waste any time. I got to get some weight on this thing and uh, really start to do some, some damage here. I mean, a couple of spots where it's a little wet. I mean, that's really not that bad, but I got to get that everywhere, all over. So we got we to gotta do better. So let's get it. All right, well, I don't think I can do any more damage. One thing I learned about this thing is, is the way the offset of, oh, a little too bright there. One thing I did learn about this, uh, the offset angles on the discs is that uh, if you want to really rip and grip and tear it up, I mean, it's a, it's a right-hand turn. I mean, it's it's reverse NASCAR, if you NASCAR all the time if you just look around and go the other way. You can really cut up some soil doing that. So that's basically what I did. I've just been doing right-hand donuts for the past hour and a half to really get this up. And this is probably not the best representation for you guys because I have a ton of mulch layer here and I'm trying to break through and get some dirt up so I can treat it, help incorporate this mulch to work in and uh, and really, really start to break everything down. Woo. So all in all, I'll show you what to expect. Over here, there's a lot less mulch and this is kind of what you can expect to see probably on a typical basis. Which, uh, oh, let me get you focused in here. Which, this looks pretty darn good. I mean, this didn't really take a whole lot of passes. And uh, that's some pretty good exposed dirt right there. I like that, that's, that's, that's nice. So this whole side of the plot, this front half, had a lot less pine. You can see where the mulch starts right here. I came in here with a tractor, scraped as much off as I could, but I'm telling you, some of this, some, there's, there's some spots in here that I almost can't even till deep enough to get down through the mulch. I mean, that's pretty close. That's the bottom of the dirt, but that's about five inches. So, I mean, I passed through and broke this up as much as I could. But ultimately, I spend a lot of time moving mulch from one spot to the other. So hopefully, I'm kicking up some dirt and uh, incorporating some dirt into the mulch and maybe I'll get some decent germination based on that. But also uncovered a lot of limbs in here, so I spent a lot of time cleaning up. But this area over here is not that bad, but this right here in the middle, probably gonna be a little bit of a dead zone. So. Over there, good. Over here, bad. Ultimately, the Turner Industries, or sorry, ultimately, the Tartar Industries disc, I give it a, um, I don't know, what y'all think? I think maybe a seven out of 10. But I mean, if this is, I mean, if I could have the whole plot like this on the this side over here, I mean, really it did its job. And I beat this thing up bad because there's a lot of mulch in here and a lot of stobs and, and stumps so i'll put a whooping on it as my dad would say and uh you probably need to add weight i had to add my fertilizer bags onto the which made me nervous because i didn't want anything to slip rip and then i'm out like 40 bucks on a bag you know if i don't if i don't see it but uh weight's probably important this isn't even that dry we got a little bit of rain here recently and uh but you can see the difference a little bit from beforehand to now I like it for, for picking up on a discount. If I would buy it brand new, maybe. If I had some extra money. I mean, but if you just got normal ground, you've already been working it, and you're just looking for an ATV type tiller or a disc, I think it's pretty jam up. I mean, once this dirt gets once this dirt gets workable, you know, we're doing all right. So, you know, but if you got a food plot that looks like a racetrack and it's like five yards long or something. Make sure you turn into that sucker to the right. Don't go at NASCAR style, cause you, or, uh, you ain't you ain't doing much. So, but uh, I got some more work to do. I'm gonna sign off of here. Hope you guys like checking this thing out. I haven't seen one of these, so I wanted to make sure to show some folks uh, this option. That adjustable 
uh, neck, the adjustable hitch, made a, a world of difference leveling that thing out and getting those teeth to grip. And uh, adjusting that coupling helped a lot. And uh, it's really not bad. It's an inch and seven eighths ball as well. So you just, I got a little attachment. I got a little inch and a quarter attachment adapter that comes out and gives me that. So four wheeler did good. No complaints. So I'm probably gonna get to the rest of this job and uh, that'll be for a different video. Talking about all this stupid crap I'm doing. I'm fixing to spread like 1,500 pounds of powder line by hand and I'll probably choke to death. Y'all gonna see me die in another video, so. God bless, have a beautiful day. We will see you on the next one. Happy hunt.